Ah, greetings and welcome to our weekly educational rounds at Seclair, an integrative holistic psychiatric facility located right around your corner and through magic today. We're reaching you. Uh, my name is Jim Ellermeyer. I'm a behavioral health therapist and today I'm joined by two of my colleagues. On my left would be Allison and on my right Ashley from Seton Hill University. Yes, yes, and you would be a PA student from Mount Union. And a PA student is Physician assistant. Oh, great, great. So here at Seclair, I think uh, everyone knows by now that we treat people. We do not treat diagnoses. And every week what we attempt to do is bring something into your life that you can incorporate that will perhaps have a little bit of meaning to it, not just tell you to do a hula hoop because it's good for you. So today I'd like to talk a little bit about awareness. Awareness. And aware of the first thing you have to do in awareness is understand you're alive. So if I came to you and said, convince me you're alive, what would you say? Well, I can feel my pulse. You can feel my your heart's pulse? Beating. Your heart's beating? I can hear you. You can hear me? So I'm responding to you. You're responding? There's a minty flavor in my mouth. There's right a now. Excellent, <laughs> excellent. Wonderful. Wonderful. Then you know you're alive. How often do you feel that minty flavor? Whenever I eat a mint, which isn't very often. Well, good. Well, good. And Ashley, I'm going to ask you the same question. How do you know you're alive? Well, kind of going off Allison, I can feel my heart beating. I see everyone here. I'm sitting on the floor. Or, well, not on the floor. <laughs> on the chair. Um, I'm listening. I hear the fan going. So, excellent, excellent. So what we do is we often, we ask people about mindfulness. And sometimes when, when, you, th when you hear the concept mindfulness, what comes to your mind, Allison? We're going to talk about mindfulness <laughs> Awareness. <today. laughs> Awareness, okay. But being in, present. Being present. Mm -hmm. Okay, how about you, Ashley? Well, normally, before you got here, what would you have said? Um, well, that was so long ago, I don't even know. But <laughs> I would say paying attention on purpose. Paying attention on purpose, actually. So there's a whole lot of people out there who view mindfulness as a, a smiling Buddha sitting calm and serene while nuclear bombs are going off around him, okay? Or sitting in a, sitting in a temple in Thailand, sitting on pillows in, or in crimson and saffron robes with a bald head with 10,000 candles around you going, mmm, all day. And that's a wonderful place to be, and it's certainly delightful. However, our own brand of mindfulness is paying attention on purpose, seeing what's right in front of you, being active and being alive in your life, buying the ticket, buying the ticket to your life. If your life, if your life was a movie, would you buy the ticket? Absolutely. Tell me about that. Because I would want to see what's going on and what's happening mm -hmm. and being present. You so. bet. You bet. Would you, would you buy a ticket to your life? If you say, hey, we're going we're gonna to show the Ashley show, would you buy a ticket? <laughs> I guess it depends on the day. <laughs> <laughs> well, sure. So sometimes we'll ask people, I don't, what I'm asking everyone out now, how do you know you're alive? How do you know you're alive? You know, sometimes we, we miss out on things. We, we drive for miles and we don't know where we're going. We read a page and a half and we don't know what words we've read. We walk into a room and we wonder why we're there. Where's my keys? Where's my phone? What's going on? Oh, I don't have enough time. I'm sure everyone out there says that. However, again, when you slow down, time slows down. It's about being in the present. And I'm challenging everyone out there to buy the ticket to your life. So I'm going to ask everyone to do this right now. I'm going to ask everyone out there, and there are my folks here, to do this, both Allison and Ashley, I'm going to say close your eyes. Close your eyes as tight as you can. As tight as you can. And when you open them, I want you to imagine it's the first time you've ever seen. So on a count of three. One, two, three, bang! It's the first time you've ever seen. Tell me what your first impression is, Ashley. Bright lights. The bright lights. <laughs> Allison? Same. The bright lights, certainly. So what else? what else would you see? Um, once my vision comes back to me, I see the room, I see one around me. You see everyone around you? How about you, Allison? All the colors and the mm. detailing and the chairs and the textures. Right. And so how often don't you see? How often don't you see? in your life? So in keeping with that, uh, we're going to be watching a little uh, clip right now on awareness. And uh, I want everyone to watch that and then we'll comment on that in a moment. So tell me, did you get the correct number of white passes? Did you correct get the number of 13? So tell me, how many of you actually saw the moonwalking bear? 
right in front of you, right in front of your face. So that's my challenge to you. How often does life happen right in front of you and you don't know it and you're, you're not there? So how often has someone said to you, Ashley, oh my gosh, where did summer go? A lot. Mm -hmm. Oh, how did you get so big? Is it Christmas already? <laughs> right. Mm -hmm. So what, 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 how, why does that happen? Talk to me. Sometimes we're just going day by day and we don't realize that the time has passed. I mean, I can definitely... You're trudging. You're trudging through life. Is your life so insignificant that you need to trudge through it? Absolutely not. No, for, for certain. And, you know, when we say we don't have enough time, how much time do we waste? You have the same amount of times in a day that Albert Einstein had, did you not? Absolutely. You have the same amount of hours in a day that Abraham Lincoln had, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So... Um, my challenge is out there to everyone else is what are you waiting for? What are you waiting for to you participate in your life? Now, I want everyone out there, and Ashley and Allison, I want you to hold your breath. Hold your breath as long as you can. And when you breathe, I want it to be the first time you've breathed in a while. Exhale. Okay, everyone exhale and take your breath in. It's the first breath you've ever felt. How do, how do you feel? How would you feel? Relief. Relief. But that's like being born, isn't it? Mm -hmm. How would you like to be born every every five minutes? You can do that. You can you can actually see it feel like you're being born every five minutes. To take that breath in, to feel the tingle. Have you ever felt a tingle in your life? Have you ever felt a tingle just being alive? Mm, probably at some point. At some point? Allison? I have actually. Yeah, great. So the idea is I'd like everyone out there to feel that tingle about being alive. I'd like do the do that test. Close your eyes, open them, and then imagine it's the first time you've ever seen. Hold your breath as long as you can, then exhale, and bring that breath in and feel that tingle about being in live. I think you'll find that there's a whole new world out there that's right in front of your eyes. Take the scale off your eyes and actually be able to see. Here's my challenge to everyone out there this week. When you're going somewhere, when you're in a familiar environment, when you're on a, when you're on a same ride home every day that you go past or in a room in your house or a room in somewhere where you've, where you've been many, many times. I want you to notice something that you haven't noticed before. That's my challenge to you and I'll guarantee you that you're able to do that. So until next time, namaste, be good to yourself, be good to another and we write a free prescription every week. Fruits, nuts and vegetables, unplug your television and take up fishing. And for a truly mindful experience, I'm going to ask everyone out there to fish without bait. And that would be a lifetime without definitive expectations. Create your own road. Remember, life isn't about finding yourself, it's about creating one. And that's my challenge to you today.